Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm not going to say too much during these clips because you can actually hear what my trainer is saying. One thing we do focus on in this lesson is my turns. As I mentioned before, I was in Dubai for five years with my horses and in Dubai we are spoiled with arena space. So my accuracy in a smaller arena and my turns and everything was really not that great when I had to ride in what is a normal sized arena but I feel like that's all getting better slowly with more practice. One thing we do work on in this lesson, and you'll see it causes me a little problem later on, is my turn. Sometimes I'm turning too early now and I don't have her balanced correctly and her shoulders straight, but you will see that as the video progresses. Hope you guys enjoy it and let me know what you think. One thing you might notice is that my trainer is always encouraging me to keep waiting to help Gabbana sit on her hind end, especially in front of the fence. So that's one thing that you might hear him say several times. Keep waiting, eh? No pressure. The and you can see the first time Gabbana works through the bounces, she's a little bit spooky and a little bit cautious. It's just about finding the right balance between the right amount of leg that she feels supported, but not, I'm not pushing her too much. And it's this next left turn that later on in the lesson, I start turning a little bit too early and it just causes me a little bit of an issue. Down that related distance, I jumped in a little bit big. My trainer wanted me to do six strides because I jumped in quite big. I decided to go for five. So he's asked me to do it again, do it in six like he asked. Then we start working a little bit on the broken lines. When the fences are smaller, we're doing six strides, and then when they go up a little bit, we'll do five. The first jump over this little orange oxer was not so straight, and I also did not ride a good corner afterwards, so my trainer was like, repeat it again, <laughs> do it better. You can see as she progresses through the lesson, she gets much more confident with the bounces and a little bit less exuberant. Here is my bad turn. <laughs> I actually said to my friend, I was like, oh, I just didn't see a distance. And he was like, no, <laughs> you would have seen a distance had you have ridden a good turn. And lo and behold, he was right, because whenever I rode a good turn, I got a good distance. You can definitely see from this angle how much better my turn was that time and how much straighter she was through the shoulders and then the distance just came. Now on the broken lines we're riding a little bit more forward now that the fences are up slightly. I'm doing five strides instead of six. I am purposefully jumping a little bit on the right side of the oxer just to help me with the landing and the balance on the turn. And you can see she just starts to get a little bit longer and a little bit flatter as we've progressed through the course. That's also me just not being strong enough to keep her on her hind end. You can see then also, because I didn't have her on the hind end, this, I struggled to get the change behind, which can happen sometimes with her.
after jumping lesson with spit on eye also. She always, always does her best. She's a very good girl, aren't you? Yes. And she likes her customary chin scratch after work, don't you? 